Hey, how's it going? You welcome back to yet another amazing video. And in this video, I'm going to be showing you guys how you can improve your FPS, fix lags, and stutter in Borderlands 4 dropped recently. I hope this guide helps you out. So make sure to stick around till the end because I'm going to be covering all of the best windows and game settings. And with all that said, let's get started with the intro. Alright, step number one is the best windows settings and for that simply search for settings onto your PC and once it opens up you wanna have to head over to personalization then colors and then you wanna have to turn off transparency effects. This will disable windows and services appear translucent. After that come down to gaming, head over to game bar and simply turn this thing off. Since game bar is an overlay service, disabling that will help you to optimize the performance of your PC. After that go back to gaming, head over to game mode and turn this thing on as it will help you to optimize your system's performance by turning things off in the background. After that click on the graphics settings over here and enable optimizations of windowed games click on advanced graphic settings and use hardware accelerated gpu scheduling both of them helps you to reduce input latency and utilize your graphic card to render the game after that click on the add desktop app button over here and then you have to go over to the download location of your game once you find your game head over to oak game binaries win64 and then select borderlands4.exe click on the add button and once that is added simply search it and then for the gpu preference select high performance over here make sure that it utilizes your graphic card and not your internal graphics and that should be it once that is done, simply close it. Next step is compatibility settings. And for that, you have to open up your Steam, right click on your game, head over to manage, click on browse local files. And once you're over here, double click on O game binaries, win64, and then you'll find borderlands4.exe. Right click on that, head over to properties, then click on compatibility and select disable full screen optimization. Then click on change high DPI setting, select this option, click on OK, and this will help you to fix input latency if you're using any kind of upscaling methods. Before moving ahead, I want to introduce you guys to easier disk copy which is really essential if you guys are playing your games on hard disk games like borderland 4 are really disk dependent and if you guys run them on an ssd you'll always get better fps you can come down to the link in the description below and download easy disk copy from this page once you open it up you guys will see a very simple yet efficient software just like this and over here it offers you disk mode system mode partition mode and emergency disk once again what you're looking for in this is a system mode which automatically detects your windows 11 on the disk and then you can simply select the target disk which could be an ssd once you find it simply select it click on the select button over here then click on enable advanced mode and as you click on the next button it will ask you to allocate the space on your drive once again you have to format your new disk drive and then click on the proceed button and on one click it will move your operating system from disk 0 to disk 1 and that is how you can simply transfer your windows from hard disk drive to an SSD. Easy's disk copy is lightning fast and it always keeps the process hassle free and corruption free. That means you will never have to face any kind of corruption if you're using this. Your operating system would be safe along with your data. I have left a free download link to Easy's disk copy right in the description below. Make sure to go check it out from there. Next step is disabling background applications and for that simply search for edit group policy over here and simply open it up. Note that this step will only be available for Windows Pro users once you're over here double click on computer configuration then administrator templates windows components and then app privacy right over here you'll find let windows apps run in the background double click to open it up and then enable this policy then for options default for all applications should be set to force deny and this will force deny the applications running in the background once that is done simply close it next step is services.msc and for that simply press windows and r key together and then type in services.msc over here to open up services press any service over here and then s on your keyboard to locate sysmain over here Double click to open this service up and make sure that the startup type is set to disabled. If the service is running, click on the stop button and then click on OK. This will disable sysmain running in the background because it consumes a lot of CPU and RAM resources and it is very heavy on your PC. Most of the times, it does not impact anything, so try disabling that and see if your performance improves. If it doesn't, you can turn this thing back again. Next step is creating a restore point and for that, simply search for create a restore point over here and open it up. Then look for your local disk C, click on the create button and name it Borderlands just so you can remember it. I highly recommend you guys now to skip this step if you want to restore all of your settings back to normal without any problems. Once that is done, click on close and close system properties. The next step is borderline 4 FPS pack. I'll be leaving a link to this down in the description below. You guys will find in six very simple folders over here which are really essential to optimize the performance of your PC. The first one is CPU priority in which I have left AMD and Intel CPU priority. Once again, if you use an Intel CPU like me, you can double click and apply the Intel CPU priority, which will update the default stock optimizations of your processor and the devoid values to optimize its performance. Similarly, it works the same way in the AMD processor for the performance. Second one is RAM optimization in which I have left a ton of presets according to your PC's RAM. 
I use 32 GB RAM, so I need to apply this registry over here, which I've already done. You can apply it from this list. And once again, if that doesn't work out well, you can always reset it back to default using this registry over here. Third folder is Borderlands 4 Priority, in which I have left Borderlands for above normal priority, high priority, and normal priority. I would request you guys to leave your PC specs down in the comments below, and I'll be telling you guys which priority you need to choose right over here. Fourth folder is Disable Unwanted Services, in which I have left a ton of services which are running on your PC in the background, which consumes the system's resources, and disabling that will help you to optimize the performance of your PC. Unless you use any Bluetooth or printer services, I would request you guys to disable every single one of them by double clicking and running them. This will help you to optimize the performance of your PC drastically. And once again, if you want to revert them back, head over to the revert registries folder and you guys can enable all of them back again from this. Fifth folder is power plan settings in which I have left ultimate performance power plan. To run this, you want to have to right click and then run it as administrator. This will run a PowerShell command on your PC, which will add a new power plan into your list. To access that, simply double click on power plans and then click on show additional plans and then select ultimate performance which should be available in this list. Once you apply that, your PC will disable all kind of power saving features on your hardware to optimize the performance of your PC. Sixth one is programs in which I have left clean temporary files start bat. You wanna have to right click and then run it as administrator. Once it opens up, press enter on your keyboard and this will delete all temporary files off of your PC and it will allow you to improve the performance in games. These are just log files and they are all temporary and deleting them is absolutely safe. Next is MSI mode utility 3.0. Simply right click and then run it as administrator. Once it opens up, you are finding your graphic card in this list. Once you found it, simply click on the MSI button next to it. And for the interrupt priority, select high. Then click on the apply button on top. And this will allow your graphic card to handle more interrupts on higher priority, which will optimize its performance without overclocking it. Once all of that is done, simply close the FPS pack. Next step is MS config. And for that, simply press Windows and R key together. And this time type in MS config over here, press enter, and this will open up system configuration. Over here, head over the boot tab and then click on advanced option. Click on number of processor and choose the maximum number of processor available in this list. Click on OK and then select no GUI boot. Click on the apply button and simply close it. This will optimize the performance of your boot. Once all of that is done, you guys can now drop into the game for the best in-game settings. Okay, once you're in your game, press your escape key and then head over to options. Over here, under the visual settings, you have to make sure that your display mode is set to windowed full screen. Display stats, I have turned it off, but you guys can also enable that. Limit frame rate should be turned off. Vertical sync should be turned off. FOV and vehicle FOV should be set to the default ones. Head over to the advanced tab and then for the graphic preset, I have gone with low. You can also run an auto detect, but that is not optimal. Anti-aliasing should be turned on. Upscaling method, I have gone with DLSS because I use an NVIDIA graphic card. If you guys use the AMD graphic card, you guys can go with FSS. Are. Once again, the upscaling quality, you can go with balanced or quality. Both of them works absolutely fine. However, if you guys have a low end PC, you can go with performance. Then for Nvidia Reflex Low Latency, I've gone with On Plus Boost. Frame generation should be turned on if you guys have it available for your PC. Now make sure that this will induce a little bit of input latency. So if you guys are okay with that, turn this thing on. It will help you to gain significant FPS boost. Then under the environment tab, you have Edge LOD loading range. Go with near, geometry, texture, texture streaming speed. All of them should be set to low. However, texture quality can be set to medium if your graphic card can support it. The most important setting over here is the volumetric fog and cloud. You always want to set this thing to low. Then you have volumetric cloud shadows, go with disabled. Then lighting, reflection and shading quality, all of them should be set to low. Post process quality should be set to low. Motion blur should be set to off. And once that is done, press F to apply these settings. Then under the audio tab, for the audio preset, select balanced over here. And once that is done, you can go back and enjoy your game with the highest FPS possible. So guys, that was it for this video. I hope I could have helped you out. If I could have, make sure to do leave a like and smash that subscribe button because we are really close to 250,000 subscribers. Do let me know how it worked for you. And with all that said, I'll see you all in another amazing video. Until then, stay tuned. Keep watching Bear Fox and peace out.